Welcome back. My, my, is it a beautiful day. Don't believe me? Look outside. You really should be out there. Oh well. Let's jump into this. Submechanophobia. What is it? Well, we know phobia means fear. And we can probably guess with mechano, right? And you definitely know sub. But the official definition is the fear of partially or fully submerged man-made objects. Still don't get what I'm talking about? You think, how can that be frightening? Jump scare warning. Look at this. How does it make you feel? Oh, it's just a propeller. It's just a thing that propels a boat. Is that all you see? Really? Nothing else? You don't see hell itself? You don't see a spooky green spinning blade of death? If you stare at it too long, you can start to overanalyze what all these weird shapes are in the background. Is this um, an eyeball? Is this a, a long tendril? You know, of some Lovecraftian beast? Are those, are these eyes in the depths? What's this? Huh? A portal to hell, perhaps? Probably not. But this propeller is sort of a main staple of submechanophobia. You type that into Google, this image probably comes up. Now, we talk a lot about fear of the water, right? That's sort of a big thing for me, although I think I'm a little desensitized at this point, but it's still very real. In fact, I just took this picture a couple weeks ago, and it doesn't look that scary in picture form, but when I was standing there and I saw these two big chains, kind of connect and then disappear downwards. I didn't love it. Maybe you live where there's no bodies of water and this is just sort of a weird phenomenon for you that you're not really familiar with, but I feel like this would be even more frightening if you were less used to it, right? Because eventually, if you ever were exposed to this after having never seen it at all, I feel like it'd be scarier, right? But then again, I don't know. Regardless, this creeps me out and we're gonna look at a lot of stuff much like this one. Buckle up. Are you buckled? You're not buckled, are you? Submerged shark animatronic. I'm not sure what this is from, but we've seen this before. And if this doesn't creep you out at least a little bit, even if it wasn't submerged, it's freaky. How did they make sharks look scarier? But that green murky water, the like rusty shark teeth, the mouth being just a hole. What is... Is there like an eel in there or something? What is that? Is that actually an eel? That's so much bigger than I thought too. Jeez. Holy smokes, dude. Also, why is it like not near any other animatronics? Like it's not like it was part of a ride or something. Maybe it was, but it seems like it's just sitting out in the open ocean. Really makes you wonder, how did it get out there? But yeah, another good example of what some mechanophobia has to offer you. Nothing good. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, I do not like this. Okay, they're mostly looking upwards, but if they look down, that is gonna be a horrifying thing to see. Oh, dude. Okay, looking up is like actually kind of cool it's such a unique view but then you realize that that much detail of different mechanisms and metal things all kind of continue on downwards can you imagine falling out of your boat also why does their kayak look like an inflatable one right this is not the time to bring an inflatable boat this is like pokey city something's gonna poke your boat and you're gonna Oh, look at that dark over there. Oh, man. This is the opposite of a treat. Wow. Oh, it's so much bigger than what we saw, too. Jeez. Can you imagine what this all looks like just from underwater? That's my nightmare. Especially being enclosed. Century-old sunken ship preserved in perfect condition beneath Lake Superior. Bro, I don't know if I'd say perfect condition. That sink's looking a little dirty. I don't know what your living conditions are like, but dang. What a wacky view. Really is that old style wheel. This is in good condition. This looks so preserved. It doesn't even look scratched. Wow, this is such a piece of history. This image I can almost pretend is not underwater. You know, it's just, oh, it's just old and rusty and like the lighting isn't great. Maybe it's dark outside and they used a weird flash. I don't know. But yeah, this is underwater. And this is probably a window that goes into a completely pitch black 
identical room. Not to mention that this room is probably pitch black usually when there isn't a flash or a flashlight going on. Can you imagine being in this room in the dark, knowing you're inside of a sunken ship? Poof. There you go, creepy piano. A uh, nice table. Dude, this is wild. Yeah, there you go, puts it in perspective. So this ship is so far down. Obviously, to be preserved so well, it has to be really far down in, in really cold temperature waters, I presume. But yeah, it is pitch black down here. All these images are being temporarily illuminated. These are all pitch black darkness. And I don't know if that does anything for you, but that freaks me out to know that. That this is in pitch black darkness, usually, and it's temporarily illuminated by this guy's flashlight. Spooky. Yikes. Can you imagine just walking on the street and this is like just part of your view? You know, you go for a little beach day and this is just part of your view? That's terrifying. Can you imagine what this looks like under the water? You can? Well, don't. Don't imagine it. I imagine it. Didn't like what I saw. Deep sea oil rig. Uh-uh. Um, terrifying. All that. Deep sea, which means this is, like, suspended above, like, what would they would describe as deep sea. So there's a lot of ocean below them. However, I want one. There's something about this design and it being suspended like this that feels so, I don't know, like sci-fi, but like, what do you call it? It's like post-sci-fi. I don't know what you call it. They spent weeks on this thing. Like, this is a, a livable space. It's not designed to look nice. It's designed to function. And it's suspended in the air. Like, I want to go on one of these. I want to know what this feels like, but I don't know if I want to do that when it's in the deep sea, you know? Another really cool view. Also, this looks like just an old building. The rest of it's like oil rigs. Why does this look like an old hospital? That's really bizarre. And then this is what? What is this? And what's this? This is like modern art. This is like a spaceship launch site. And then there's a old hospital and then like four oil rig looking things. This exact angle is like a video game cutscene or like a sci-fi movie transition when they go to a new planet. Just imagine the ship kind of flying in, flies in, kind of curves right here, lowering its speed, and then hovers over this thing and then slowly descends and lands. In March 2022, a team embarked on a series of scout dives to investigate shipwrecks off the coast of Florida. Instead, they find a 20-foot segment of the space shuttle Challenger. It just looks like brick, though. This is so weird. I don't know. That doesn't really freak me out that much. It's just kind of like, it's less scary than a shipwreck. It's just like a sheet. Compilation of nuclear reactor startups. Things I never thought I was gonna see today. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> Goodness gracious, dude. Which one was it? I think the second one? The scream sound? This is one of the craziest things I've seen in a while. I have never even thought about this. I've seen pictures of nuclear reactors like this where it shows like this and it's kind of like, whoa, that's crazy. But like, you can't really tell what's going on. But seeing like it moving, not to mention like the fact that this looks like teeth. It looks like a mouth and then it screams. That blue glow that all of them have in common. This is so crazy. I did not expect to see that today. But yeah, terrifying. Massive surge tank at a hydroelectric power plant. Dude, what a day. The video quality is kind of bad, but you get the idea. And I think the idea is 
don't fall in there. Yeah, don't go in there. Unlike Bruce from Jaws, the sharks in Deep Blue Sea worked flawlessly. Unbelievable animals. But until they actually saw the first footage of the, of the first shark, everyone always wondered, is it gonna look like rubber? Is it gonna look fake? And then when they saw Whoa. the first footage, it was, oh my gosh, here's, you know, it's a real shark. What the heck? That's crazy. The movements on this first shot are so lifelike. Dude, that's so good. I mean, don't show that to me underwater, but uh, that's really impressive. <sighs> the title is Funny How a Single Chain Can Freak Us Out. Speak for yourself. Um, yeah, no, I'm... I don't like this. Massive cargo ship splits in half mid-voyage. It looked like it did that over so little. Like it, it looks like it hit it just right, but it wasn't like some insane wave. It was just like a wave. I mean, I don't know if that speaks more for the power of the ocean or like for the maybe not great design of this boat. That's crazy. I don't like that. I don't even know what you do after that. An artist left a dress in the Dead Sea for two years. So there it is. And there it is covered in salt. Cool, I guess. I don't know. This statue disappearing into the waves. Interesting choice here of statue. A good piece of work to remind people to uh, not go in the water. Vertical sunken boat. Oh no, it's a video. I thought it was just a picture. Oh no. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. I was not expecting to be dunked so quick. Okay, here we go. Start from the top. Cool boat. Seems you got one of those vertical boats, huh? <sighs> oh my god, I hate this. Why is the video quality so good too, for once? It's crystal clear. Wow. What a random video. It's just eight seconds of like, hey, look at this vertical boat. Pretty weird, huh? That's wild. I hate that. That dunk is something else. Something creepy in a finished lake. Let me just stop it right there. This video is a minute long. The title only tells us that something creepy happens. Let's go for it. Buckle up. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. They bumped it too. That's how close to the surface it is. The reflection just makes you not able to see it at all. That's crazy. It's right under the surface you think that they would have like buoys on it unless this is like sort of unknown this is even here that's so creepy offshore oil rig being tossed around by huge waves okay but how that would feel so weird to be on that found these two garden gnomes in lake zurich while diving at n what the heck Dude, if you were not expecting that, which I don't know why you'd be expecting two gnomes on your dive, but also there's like a plaque right there, isn't there? Is this like a grave site? This is weird. I've got a lot of questions for what this is. That gives me bad vibes. Giant abandoned ship left over from Cyclone. It just sits there? It's the music that makes it creepier than it is, but it is really creepy. That's the thing about old abandoned ships is like, what do you do with them? It's just sort of like, oh well, and they just get left there. Like, s more often than not, it seems like. So why is that? You're telling me that the best option for this huge ship is just to be like, oh well, sucks to suck. Turned his house's rainwater cistern into an eel tank. Now, the reason I want to do this eel hole is that I like keeping really weird fish, and I like exploring really weird places. Um, and this is the rainwater cistern under my new house. So these concrete walls, they're meant for holding rainwater, 
They're actually meant for supplying drinking water and house water. So the walls are totally safe. The cinder blocks are made with lime, which is toxic, but I just acid bathed them and that takes the toxicity out of them. So they are totally safe. You can see I've had them in those since the beginning, since I ever touched the water. They've been in here the whole way. Um, I've never noticed any dead minnows. There should be about two dozen in here somewhere. What um, kind of bizarre? Up walkways and they're all puncture hiding. I did add a goldfish or something in here. Uh, you can see it down there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so it has a weird double knot in the last few days. I think the cancer is over the last few months. Huh? I'm not trying to knock on someone's hobbies, but that video just gave me such weird vibes. It's the like nonchalant way of him explaining things, like glossing over the fact that this is just super weird to be doing. He doesn't have any eels in it yet, but they said he wants to turn it into an eel tank. So he's like cleaning it out and making it all ready and setting up filters so that he can then just have a bunch of eels in there. Which honestly, imagining that from like a perspective of like a Disney villain, kind of sick. That's the kind of thing you think of, you're like, man, it'd be cool to have an eel, but then you stop right there. But talk about just like, you have people over and you're like, yeah, yeah. They're like telling you about their dog and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, you have any pets? Oh yeah, I've got, you know, I've got a, a hundred eels. Yeah, they're right below us right now. You want to go see them? Don't fall in. <laughs> Keeps like pretending to almost push you like, oh, <laughs> I wouldn't, I'm joking around. Oh, <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna, oh, <laughs> oh. This video was posted over a year ago, so I gotta look this guy up. Hi, everybody. Whoa. So today in the eel pit, everyone's still doing well. Uh, everybody's really concerned that the crabs are gonna eat the eels, and just based off size, it's not gonna happen. If anything, the eels actually, you can see a middle eel chasing a Rangoon here. Eel bow actually ends up taking the food out of Rangoon's hand after he crawled over to the other side of the platform. But yeah, crabs are doing great, full fresh water, cold water. Uh, doing totally fine with everyone. No losses yet. Uh, Crunchwrap Supreme, here he comes. Doing amazing as always. Okay, I take back like maybe half of what I said. But seeing it like all put together, it's like, it's you know, it's cool. It's 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 nice. Still pretty weird, but like in a, in a cool way. All right, let's actually end with that one. I think that's a good one to end on. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this in your own way. We haven't done a Subnautica... Subnautica? <laughs> we haven't done a Submechanophobia video for like at least a year. So it's kind of nice to see like our usual thalassophobia thing, but like from a slightly different angle, you know, a different lens. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I've got a couple of videos lined up. Let me know if you have any ideas for me, things you want me to look at that are like vaguely creepy, but not too creepy, you know? Interesting little things, let me know. I'll probably do analog horror again. I've actually been looking at the Mandela effect. Seems like that could be something cool to look at, but, but we'll see. Um, if you feel like checking out my diary video I posted last week, feel free. It's my lowest performing video um, in a very long time, but I feel like it's pretty good. It's just, it's a weird one to want to click on, and I get that. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. See ya.